At this time of year, focus tends to shift to traditions and lost arts like sculpting and woodworking. A local man has been combining both for decades. KDKA photojournalist Dave Columbine goes inside the studio with 92-year-old Thad Mosley, one of Pittsburgh's most beloved artists. If you're in a hurry, you never become a wood sculptor. That is Pittsburgh royalty in the art world. I'm Thad Mosley, and I'm self-taught sculptor. But that is really singular in the Pittsburgh art scene. Mainly, I work in wood. Sometimes I do mixed media with found objects and metal and glass. I started way back in the 50s when Scandinavian design furniture was really hot. Kaufman's department store, they had a big display of furniture, but they also had little sculptures of birds and fish on little rods. And I said, well, I can do that. Dad has been coming to this museum for decades. Well, I'm 92 years old. And he continues to work every day, uh, incredibly dedicated way. I have a set of raw logs, and I look at these logs, and I say which ones will go together. You can see where I've started this. I lay everything out, and I decide how, what I'm going to do. I always wear gloves, as you can see. Cuts down on the damage to nerves and hand and everything else. I have pretty much an idea of what the finished sculpture should look like. And then using these well-worn hand tools. And these are gouges and these are chisels. Sculpts these uh, incredibly delicate surfaces and forms that kind of nestle together in unexpected ways. You get the feeling of movement of mass and also the texture of the wood. The hardest thing I have to do uh, Mommy move the logs around and make sure that they're stable and they don't fall. After I get this shape done, I'll be able to do the final shape. Oops, <laughs> that happens. I'm used to doing this myself. Oh, that happens when I don't keep this right. This is what you got to be able to do when you work alone. He really lives and works amongst an archive of his sculptures. I do what I call weight and space, and that is the pieces are elevated. The top piece is usually larger than the base. Presently, I'm in the 57th edition of the Carnegie International. Dad's work grouped here um, in the lobby of the museum greets visitors. As soon as they arrive, they're immersed in a world of sculpture, a forest of art. We used to go across and look at the International, and I never, of course, dreamed that I would be in a show at, like the Carnegie International. There's always this interplay between the natural um, and, the, and the hand carved in Thad's work. When I look at Thad's work, I always uh, hear the sound of jazz music in a way. I'd like to think the work speaks for itself. And I never make any long-range plans at any time in my life. I just come in every day and, and uh, all my life and just, just work. I, I tell people there aren't not going to be a lot of these done in the future. <laughs> you have to want to do it. You have, you have to have the passion, perseverance. I just, you know, feel lucky that I feel all right. That's the main thing. Oh, it's getting there. <laughs>